In a world filled with wonders waiting to be experienced, we embark on a 10 day journey to not only seek these experiences, but to tell stories about them around campfires to come. Join us to a captivating quest of curiosity and adventure as we traverse into the terrains of Utah and Arizona, where rugged beauty and breathtaking landscapes converge. I'm Victor, and this is Off the Great Adventure. Check out that Alu Cab Jeep. I campers on literally every car. You're gonna go to the left of that officer there. Go yeah. park under the bridge. Once you park, you're gonna grab this, and the IDs go inside. They'll help you in there. Make sure okay. you get in the line for agriculture. Agriculture. Okay. okay. It's uh, the one to the right. It's not the immigration line. Okay. It tends to be shorter. Okay. Thank you. secondary for bringing eggs over. Why do we bring eggs? Lovely. Oh, we're on our way now. First time in secondary in Blaine. Pretty nice facility. After passing all these adventure vehicles, I can't stop to wonder, how's their gas mileage? Ah, so here's the situation with the gas, guys. It's not good. This three floor is drinking way too much. We've only traveled 350 kilometers and uh, we're filling up again. So, gonna be expensive. <laughs> Good night, Moose. Waiting for uh, Edward to catch up with us. It's quite dusty on the Forest Service Road. But uh, clocked in almost a thousand kilometers today. Crazy stuff. How you feeling? Tired. Got the camp, kind of. The uh, original plan was uh, way too packed down there. So we left that, went up the road for a little bit and found this little pull out. And there's bugs everywhere, snakes and stuff. So just gotta quickly set up, have some dinner and go to bed. For dinner, we're having a, what is this, a tomahawk steak? No, dude. What is it? What is it? <laughs> it's, it's, oh, well done. No, it's because it's on the red light, bro. <laughs> nah, dude. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, it's kind of well done. Yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> we're not posting about dinner tonight. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh, there's uh, these things called uh, fiddle heads. They look like snails. 
weird. Not too bad for a spot just off the road because the main camp spot was packed with boats and RVs. Um, I woke up to this beautiful rock. It's pretty cool. There's a trail behind it that you can hike, but it is hot and it's only nine in the morning. It's, I'm like sweating hot. So we're gonna make a quick breakfast and hit the road. Get, try to get down into Utah today. We're still in Oregon, so yeah. It rained last night for a little bit, and with the dust around, the solar panels caked with dust. Oh my God! Sorry. Stay tuned. Hopefully we're not on the side of the road. Yeah, we were on the side of the road, but we found the terminals were extremely corroded and all we had was a little brush to clean the terminal. It's okay. The it's Toyota. It's fine. It's even looser now, but some of the corrosion's gone. And the uh, battery light is off and we're back at 13 volts when the vehicle is on, so Let's put this story aside for now and find camp for the night. We got to camp pretty late as per usual and we got up early to get on the road as per usual. But the terrain was changing by the mile so we knew that we were getting closer to nature's museum and it was all worth it. These breathtaking arches in Utah are natural geological formations that have been shaped over millions of years through the combined process of erosion, weathering, and geologic uplift. This is nature's museum. After 20 hours from home, two nights of camping, we're going to spend a nice night at a hotel. We'll see you tomorrow. Right? Bye! <laughs> Battery light is back on. Oh, we're an 